And in the studio with me this morning from Fort White Alive is Cheryl Eaglesham. She is the Manager of Volunteer Resources, and she is in to talk about some of the volunteer opportunities at Fort White Alive and some of the things they've got going on. So good morning, Cheryl. Good morning, Michael. Thank you for your uh, patience with all of our uh, technical issues here. I was t- telling you off the air how easy it is now with computers, but they can also cause us problems. But we've got things back in order, so... Here we are. Thank you for coming in this morning. Oh, it's a great opportunity to be able to celebrate our volunteers. Thank Absolutely. You. So tell me about uh, Fort White Alive and uh, their volunteers there. Well, we are um, an organization, obviously, that has uh, 300 volunteers. And our volunteers are an integral part of our program. Obviously, they're the pillars. Last year, they filled 275 volunteer roles in Fort White Alive. So if you were to compare the volunteers to how many people that are paid workers there, it's probably, it must be. Yeah, we have normally about 20-some uh, employees. 20-some employees. In the summertime, so it'll grow to about 40, but yeah. Oh, wow. So mm-hmm. that's, a, that's, a lot of, that's a lot of volunteers. Yes, and they, um, they are the ones that have the skills, and we provide them the excellent training so that they can support the programs, educational programs we have. So what kind of volunteer opportunities are there at Fort White Alive? Well, I'm always recruiting um, people who are interested in uh, teaching, using their teaching skills um, for the next generation, volunteers who kind of have that desire to mentor urban youth at our Fort White Farms, and also those who want to explore with the preschoolers at Fort School. Mm-hmm. How mm-hmm. long have you been there for, at Fort White Alive? I've been here there for five years, and uh, I volunteers are fantastic, and they, this is my dream job. This is it. <laughs> mm-hmm. This is it. <laughs> this is it. Yes. Um, they. Uh, I don't know what it is about Fort White, but it seems to attract the best people. Mm-hmm. And uh, these volunteers work together, support each other, and I think that's why we have such a strong program. Mm-hmm. So, the vol- so is, are there volunteer opportunities all year round, or is it just mostly in the summer? There are. There are volunteers all all year round. Um, and but I'm always recruiting one season ahead. Mm-hmm. So right now I am looking mostly at our summer um, camp counselor roles because we need 110 camp counselors um, for July and August, um, so youth that can volunteer for two weeks. Mm-hmm. So um, we um, are looking for youth that like to be like to be with children and who like to be outdoors, you know, um, doing uh, swimming and forest school games, and uh, and so then. Um, once they've had their, they've applied online at fortwhite.org, we do a quick interview and the parents are really the integral part that bring the, the children mm-hmm. there because without them, they, um, you know, they wouldn't have the opportunity to apply online and also be there. So what, what, what's the age group of volunteers you're looking for for so, camp counselors? So ages 14 to 19. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, certainly they have to be someone who would be interested in, um, Working with uh, children ages 4 to 13. 4 to 13. So that's, I mean, you know, these days we talk a lot about technology and phones and computers and iPads and iPods and all that kind of stuff. And kids spend a lot of time on their phones these days. And they're uh, often not too motivated on their own to get outdoors and do this kind of thing. So if you're out there, you're a parent or a grandparent and you're listening to the show, it's, it's a good opportunity to kind of unplug the kids and, and get them out there. And uh, I've always felt volunteering is such an amazing thing that I think every kid should volunteer at least somewhere when they're growing up because it benefits not only the people that you're, vo- that you're helping, but it benefits yourself as well. Yeah, they they um, volunteers tell me that they get more um, get back more than they give, and uh, so I mean volunteers um, volunteering is really an opportunity to use your skills, uh, meet people with similar interests, mm-hmm. and then also um, make a difference in your community. Mm-hmm. So that you said there's training involved as well. How long of a training period is there for for the camp counselor yeah. role? It's one week of okay. uh, of training. Four yep. days. Okay, and mm-hmm. what, what about some of the other things? So, um, it, during at um, for throughout the year, we um, every season we have new roles, and so um, if you're thinking of volunteering, what you want to do is start thinking about applying really early, even before the the uh, fall starts, because mm-hmm. training begins right in September, first kind in September. So, you want to connect with me at fortwhite.org mm-hmm. and I'd be cl- pleased to speak with you and mm-hmm. then set you up with some information on when we start our training. 
This is uh, Cheryl Eaglesham. She is the Manager of Volunteer Resources at Fort White Alive. We're talking about uh, some of the volunteer opportunities out there. And probably it's not a bad idea for pe- people who have never been there or haven't been in a long time to actually go and experience it first. Maybe find out what they love about the place. Maybe there's one particular thing they like about it. And then when they go to head to uh, apply for uh, volunteering, they can be specific about one of the things they want to do, right? That's not a bad yeah, the different roles are, are online at fortwhite.org, mm-hmm. but uh, definitely our draw is the, the, we have uh, 640 acres of land, right? And that is the draw that brings people out in nature. Mm-hmm. And if you love nature and being outdoors, we have a volunteer role for you. Is there one of the volunteer roles in particular that people love, That the one you find you get the most people volunteering for? Um, well, certainly people who love using their skills, their ed- uh, education sc- skills, mm-hmm. you know, like teaching and like to empower the next generation about being outdoors okay nature all right can you do you volunteer to be like one of the buffalo tamers or something like that <laughs> do you get out there with the bison <laughs> no the no. bison <laughs> are their own herd out there they do their own thing we don't have to worry about any of them and mm. we have staff that feed them and, and but they're on their own but you know they're they're such an interesting animal and and we're always excited on mother's day because that's when the new calves are being born and uh, so if, uh, yeah, so if you want to, to come out during Mother's Day, you might see a brand new calf. Is it is seriously on Mother's Day? That's when they well, typically around that, around that time. I was yeah. going to say, that's kind of ironic. Yeah. Every day on every Maybe year on Mother's Day. Change in the weather this year, but it's around that time, yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. So there you have it. There's lots of opportunities to volunteer at Fort White Alive. It's National Volunteer Week. Uh, you guys are celebrating that next week because this week you're doing the Earth Day celebrations. On Sunday. So mm-hmm. what are you doing next week for National Volunteer? Next week we have a spirit breakfast for all volunteers who have hours that, uh, that we can call upon them. And uh, so it's a great opportunity. We we love to acknowledge our volunteers by thanking them every day or what mm-hmm. they do. Um, but uh, the spirit breakfast is kind of a tangible thing we like to do. And... Uh, and we love to feed our volunteers. So mm. we have lots of, uh, we have a barbecue and the breakfast and we have a holiday dinner also. Wow, mm-hmm. sounds amazing. Yeah. Great place to spend some time uh, volunteering <laughs> or just visiting as well. You can go to fortwhite.org to uh, find out more about Fort White Alive if you haven't been there or haven't been in a long time. And also uh, click on, they've got a little tab there that says volunteer opportunities and it'll uh, describe some of the volunteering opportunities at Fort White Alive. They've got lots of stuff going on uh, throughout the year. If you go uh, click on their events calendar, you'll find that uh, well, pretty much every second day at least there's something going on. And as Cheryl was mentioning, uh, Earth Day celebrations on Sunday. Next week it's all about volunteers and then, of course, their regular activities as well. So thank you for coming in, Cheryl. Well, thank you for the opportunity to speak about volunteering at Fort White. And uh, during this National Volunteer Week, I want to thank the many volunteers who offer their time and skills to our community each day because you are making a difference.